Aloha, everyone. Hope you're having a glorious day. We are doing a psychological profile using only the Bible as our source material to understand who is this person, Shimon, Cephas, Petros the Rock. So Simon Peter was a devout Jew. He never ate anything impure or ritually unclean. He did not associate or visit with any foreigner, any Gentile, non-Jewish person. And he did know about the messianic prophecy that would be fulfilled in Jesus. So he was religious. He looks good on the outside, but on the inside, spiritually unclean. And he knew this with his encounter with Jesus. When Jesus did a miracle, as we talked about in the last one, his response to this miracle was saying, I'm so unclean, you need to get away from me, Jesus. I'm, I'm full of sin and you shouldn't be near me. So he also takes on a leadership role. Uh, when Jesus goes missing, he goes in search to find Jesus. And when he does, he even admonishes him. He says, Jesus, Everyone is looking for you. So he seems to be the apparent leader of the disciples to all the Jewish leaders when they roll into uh, Jerusalem. And Peter emerges as a leader in Jerusalem even after Jesus uh, is resurrected, died and is resurrected. And this is among 120 apostles uh, he shows his leadership in selecting Matthias uh, to take Judas's place among the uh, inner tw uh, 12 disciples. Now, he struggles to discern his own will for political and social justice with God's will and God's timeline. So he tries telling Jesus what is good. On the Mount of Transfiguration, after he sees uh, you know, Jesus glowing with uh, the heavenly glory, he said, this is good. I will put three sukkahs. I will build three sukkahs. Now remember, sukkahs come from the Feast of Tabernacles which the final fulfillment is Jesus' millennial reign here on earth when he comes and establishes his kingdom here on earth. Now, Simon Peter was saying, the Feast of Tabernacles, the millennial reign, has come. I will, put three, I will build three sukkahs in celebration here. Later, um, Jesus rebukes Jesus when uh, Jesus, you know, says he would suffer at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and experts in the law. And he rebukes Simon Peter by saying he has set his mind on man's interest. In other words, Peter has his own ideas about overthrowing the Roman Empire or what the millennial kingdom looks like. And in fact, Jesus is rebuked as Satan now, another instance in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, P Simon Peter could not stay awake. Three times Jesus comes to him, and then he admonishes him. He says, you know, Peter, your spirit is willing, but your flesh, it's weak. And he's asked to stay awake and pray so he doesn't enter into testing. So Peter has difficulty accepting mercy. And if it's anything like you, I do as well. When someone gives me something or excuses something I've done, I feel really bad and I, I want to make it right. I have trouble just accepting uh, someone's mercy. And Peter shows this as well. He's a self-made man. You know, he makes his own money fishing. And when Jesus asks to wash his feet. He said, hey, you must not wash my feet. And then later when Jesus says, I must, he's passionately all in. He says, well then, wash my whole body. 
we also find that he's protective of Jesus. You know, his sailor ways are to take care of things with fists and swords. So his way is not the way of mercy. It's the way of getting even, of getting back, or um, defending with, a, uh, you know, aggression. So when Jesus explains to his disciples that he's going to be betrayed, Peter is vigilant. He says, who is it who will betray you? I will take care of him. You know how I will, I will do this. I will, I will take care of him my way. So when Peter's worldly understanding was exceeded, he, he betrayed Jesus. Um, it's at this point uh, that Jesus tells Peter, he actually predicts to Peter, hey, not all of you, Peter, is clean, and that's why I need to wash your feet, because you will betray me. So Peter struggles with mercy. Um, when he asks Jesus, how many times should I forgive someone when they do me wrong? So this is uh, Peter, you know, saying, hey, how many times till I can you know, punch this guy's lights out? Um, how many times do I have to forgive him? So I hope you're enjoying this five-part series on who is Simon Peter, and I will look forward to connecting up with you tomorrow.